Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice math problem involving square root? From here, you can rewrite this as into bracket square root of 39 here can be written as 3 times 13, then plus root 3 here divided by we have root 12 and we can write it as root 3 times 4. Then or raised to power 6 from here. Then also from here, what we have in this bracket here, we can separate it from when we have root a times b, and this can be written as root a times root b. Then from here, this becomes into bracket root 3 times root 13. Then plus root 3 divided by, also here we have root 3 times root 4, then or raised to power 6. That is from here, we have root 3 common, we can factor that out and this becomes into bracket root 3, then put in bracket what is left here, that's root 13, then plus. What is left here, we have 1, then over here, we have root 3 times root 4 here, that's 2, then close bracket, all raised to power 6. And from here, root 3, we cancel each other, so here we are left with root 13 plus 1, all over 2, then all raised to power 6. Then from here, let's represent what is inside here with letter x. So let x be equal to root 13 plus 1 over 2. That is, what we are finding here now is now thinking as x raised to the power 6. Then from here, when we cross multiply, this becomes 2x equals to root 13 plus 1 then let's take 1 to this side then we have 2x minus 1 equals to root 13 then from here we can square both sides then we have 2x minus 1 square then equals to root 13 square that is from here the square here we cancel the square root and when we expand this side, it gives us 2x all square, then minus 2 times 2x times 1, then plus 1 square. Now equals to 13 on this side. Then here, square here we affect 2, we have 4, then we have x square, then minus 4x plus 1, now equals to 13. Then from here, we can separate, let's separate 4x to that side become plus, so we have 4x squared equals to 4x, then we have plus 13, then take 1 to this side as well, become minus 1. Then from here, we have 4x squared equals to 4x plus 12, then from here, we can divide through by 4, so divide through by 4 here, so this left with x squared equals to x plus 3 here. So from what we have here, what we are desired to find is x raised to power 6, and then from here, 2 times 3 will be same thing as 6. So let's multiply both power here by 3, then we have x squared, then raised to power 3 here, equals to x plus 3, then raised to power 3 from here as well. Then here, this power has become x raised to power 6, which is equals to here, we have power of 3, and then when we are expanding power of 3 from Pascal triangle, we have 
when we have one 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 then we have two one two one we have three one three three one so this here will be the coefficient of this expansion then the fourth we carry x raised to power three then here this carry x raised to power zero so we have coefficient of one then plus here we have coefficient at three then times this power will reduce by one that x squared then here we carry power of one that's three raised to power one then plus also the coefficient here that's three then this reduce by one as well we have x raised to power one now then times here increase by one that's three squared then plus coefficient now is one then we have this reduced to raised to power zero that's one then this reduced to power of three then we have three raised to power three from here then also this now imply x raised to power three is equals to x raised to power three plus here we have three times three raised to power one that's three times three which is nine so we have nine x square then plus here we have three square that's nine then times three that's twenty seven that's twenty seven x here then plus 3 raised to power 3, that's 27. Then, from here, we can separate here, this up, x squared times x. On the law of indices, this, you know, we had all, we see the 3, then plus, here we have 9x squared, then plus 27x plus 27 then from here we can recall that x square is same thing as x plus 3 then when we bring this here it implies that x raised to power 6 is now equals to here we replace that x plus 3 then times x here then plus also 9 into bracket x plus 3 now then plus 27x plus 27. Then from here, when we expand, x we multiply this, then this equals to x squared plus 3x. Then plus here, then we open this, we have 9x plus 9 times 3, that's 27. Then plus 27x plus 27 here. Yeah. Then also we still have x squared here, so it implies that x raised to power 6 now equals to x squared same thing as x plus 3, then plus 3x plus 9x plus 27 plus 27x, then plus 27. And from here we can add the like terms together. So what we have here, we have x plus 3x, that's 4x, and plus 9x, we have 13x, plus 27x, that gives us 40x. Then here we have 3, plus 27 here, we have that 30, then plus 27, that gives us 57. So x raised to power 6, now equals to... 40x plus 57. Then recall that we represented x as root 13 plus 1 over 2. So it implies that what we have now, which is root 13 plus 1 over 2, or is to power 6, that is the problem given, will then be equals to here. That's 40 into bracket root 13 plus 1 over 2, then plus 57. Then from here, 2 goes here, 1, 2 goes here, you know, 20. So this implies we have 20 into bracket root 13 plus 1, then plus 57. 
the interesting we open this bracket from here then this give us 20 root 13 then plus 20 then we have plus 67 from here that is here we have 20 root 13 plus 20 plus 67 that's 77 and which we can write as 77 plus 20 root 13 so here we have the solutions to this given problem so what we have here is now simply 77 plus 20 root 13 and thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell also share this video if you have another way to solve this put it in the comment section see you next time and bye for now